Hey everybody, welcome. We're going to be working on a gingerbread wreath today. A turn on my light. I forgot. There we go. Yikes. Okay. This was a gingerbread man that I found on Facebook. I went and did some altering to him. We gave him a new bow tie. Gave his little buddy a bow tie. I don't know if you've ever noticed, but in a lot of these items, they're weighted on the bottom. This guy was full of sand in his feet. So I opened him up, removed the sand. It's just to make him lighter on the wreath. And then I sewed it shut. Okay? Bye, Nanny Dot. Thank you. We've got a little rolling pin we're going to add to his arm. I have a cookie sheet here that I put some gingerbread men on. And I also made a little flour and sugar sack. They're slippery. <laughs> to go in the wreath with him. So he looks like a real baker man. But... I did put the link in the comments to the gingerbread men and to the candy canes that I'm going to be adding in. Both were purchased from Amazon, so there's a link, there's a link right there to them. So we have those. And then I have this that we made. It says Grandma's Gingerbread Recipe. I thought that would look so cute in here, along with the uh, gingerbread men on the cookie sheet, and make them look like a real baker. So that's my idea. Let's see how it all goes. Can you all hear okay? Let me know if there's any interference. And then I will change it up if there is. okay all right let me just make sure that my volume is turned off here so we don't get an echo yep it's turned off all right all right I'm Robin with Robin's re3 welcome to my channel if you haven't already subscribed please do so we're holding a contest it's at the top of my page like, share, and comment to win. I'm going to have a giveaway of five signs because between the number of people that follow me on Facebook and the number that are following me on YouTube, it's time for a big giveaway. All right. Okay. I fluffed this wreath up a little, but there's still some gaps. So... We're going to add in some greenery to kind of fill it out a little bit. I don't know if you've noticed, but the wreaths are getting skimpier and skimpier. So we're just going to add a little volume. Hi, Missy. Check out my gingerbread guy. We gave him a new... A new bow tie and his little buddy and we're giving him a rolling pin we're gonna deck them all out he's gonna be a baker man hi Jennifer welcome we have a little cookie sheet with cookies already on it I put in the link these are ornaments that were purchased on um, Amazon and you get quite a few I think there's what four there's 12 in all so you got plenty to play with and then we have which is one of my new signs it's a smaller one it's a five by seven this is grandma's gingerbread recipe no I didn't I found him on Facebook I watch Facebook marketplace in my area a lot for good deals so that's where I got him. In fact, 
the lady thought I was a collector, and when I told her what I was doing with them, she wants to see pictures of the wreath afterwards. So, And then I made two little bags, one that says flour and one that says sugar. And we're going to put those with him. So he's going to look really like a baker man. And then I have some candy canes, or I have a few peppermints that I can add into. So, all right, let's get started. Hi, Claudette, welcome. If it's your first time watching, don't forget to follow me and like my page. I added in the um, comments the link to the peppermint candy canes and the link to the gingerbread men cookies. I'm just tearing apart a pick that I have here because we're going to fill in some gaps in this before we get started here. I'm so glad you could join me. All right. Everybody having a good day? It's nice and wet here. It's kind of crappy out. Anybody got sunshine in their area? We don't. We got rain. Just want to give this, make this a little fuller and really punch it up. Besides, I like my wreaths to look like they have more than one pine tree in them. And this is just a way to add some oomph. Hey, hubby. Are you in quarantine? We're going to put one of these in there. Really? So I'm not the only gloomy state out there? Let's put a little sparkle there too. Because we've got this glittered like. Just to give it some more depth. Don't forget to go to my page and like, comment, and share. On the top post, we'll be giving away five signs. As soon as we hit 3,000 followers, and I'm two or three away. So if you make Reese and you'd like some signs, go to it. Oh, there you go. That's a nice, that's nice. Have a little time off. Ryan just went back to work. He drives school bus. He's retired from the post office and he drives uh, school bus part time. So he went for his afternoon run. Yay! Sometimes we need a break. I love them, but we have survived quarantine. We can survive just about anything, I guess. <laughs> yeah, about up in there. Going that way. Let's get this down in here. See how it just adds a little more texture and depth to the wreath? Hi, 
Hi, Kayla. Hi, Jeannie. Welcome. We're working with my gingerbread man today. I will have the sign and possibly the little flour and sugar sack on my website, on my Etsy page soon. In case anybody's interested. There we go. And I will try and get on tomorrow because I have this idea for a wreath that I'm still working on. And then next week, Missy and I are going to go on and show you a wreath. I made the attachment for her and she made the attachment for me. So that will be fun. Missy's bows are to die for. So she's going to have some, a really nice design for you. No, I don't think we'll add that. I think we're good. All right. Now, as I told you, I took the uh, sand out of his feet so it wouldn't weigh the wreath down as much. And then I sewed it shut. I went ahead and I gave him a new bow tie his, and his little buddy a new bow tie. So we're going to glue this to his hand. I want it to stay with him. And I put some tinsel tie in the back because I'm going to use that to attach him to the wreath. Doesn't he look cute? Thank you, Jean. Or Joanne. Thank you. I see Joanne entered my contest. I see that Kayla did. Don't forget to enter. You have to like comment and share to be entered to win and it doesn't have to be a sign I also have license plates personalized license plates and I know you guys have some gift giving coming up I know isn't he adorable look at that his his bow tie was really bad and so is the little guy and I thought this would be cute to kind of just glue it to his feet. So it looks like he's been knee deep in flour. <laughs> so I'm just going to hot glue that to his foot. He's a baker man. I may change this up a little and add some checks to it, but kind of pressed for time so there we go he looks like he's ready to get baking thank you and then we have the cookie sheet and like I said I I took one of my five by seven signs turned it over because this side definitely looks like a cookie sheet and then I added the gingerbread men to it and the links at the top of the page then here we have the gingerbread cookie recipe it's named grandma's gingerbread cookies and I thought that would look cute like right here it is a real recipe in case anybody is interested but I thought you know we we do so many things I just thought this would be something different so Let's get this attached to the wreath. Okay, like the comment, share the page, and that should be fine. Hey, LaVon, welcome. Just as long as you're on there, Missy, that's how you qualify to win. 
I don't know. If, I think the cookies will look better down here, and the recipe will look better up here. What do you think? I think that looks good. And I don't think I want to go this way. I think I want to go the same way as the sign. So let's do this. Thank you. There's so many out there, gingerbread wreaths, and I'm not putting them down. They're just really full. And I wanted to do something just a little bit different than what everybody else is doing. And I think this accomplishes it by putting the real recipe in there, adding some flour and sugar. I'm actually using the wreath base to tie down the signs. That's a plus when you're using a pine wreath. You don't always have to put extra ties or pipe cleaners or whatever in there. There we go. How's that look so far? All right. If we wanted, I also have some of these sugar balls. We could add some sugar balls in here. Uh, we're going to work on our bow now. So we've got sugar bows, we've got candy canes, and we've got some other peppermint candies to add in if we want. But I thought, let's, let's do this first. Now, let me just move this off to the side. Uh-oh. I couldn't find my E6000, so I used regular glue, and it's looking like it's not going to stick. So I'm going to have to upgrade when I'm done to my E6000. So there we go. All right. Now for the bow, I have several choices. I thought this was cute because that looks like the peppermint. This definitely because it has our gingerbread in it. I thought the check would look really a nice pop because of he's got checks on his apron. I still love this ribbon and it has the brown or like the gingerbread color and the red and the green in it. So I think I'm gonna use that and I may even use this. Oh, I made one a couple of years ago for a customer and she wanted it full, full, fuller. So, it was full. There's also There's also this one too. But don't know. Which do you think? Peppermint or Rick Rack? I kind of like the Rick Rack. I kind of. Let's try peppermint. I don't know what I did. There they are. In fact, it was that lady's wreath that got me into wreathing. <laughs> I hadn't done it in a while. I loved making them. So, doing about a six inch loop.
you're a Rick Rack fan. <laughs> uh, I just think it kind of washes out against this now that I see it. I don't know. I think I'm going to put the green kind of like this, but again, I like this. I think I'm going with this next. Oh, I don't know. glued it. Why did they do that? Now. Okay, I'm going to cut. Actually, we can make that go up. And then I wouldn't have to redirect it. Hi, Jennifer. Welcome. Hi, Georgie. Yeah, let's see. We'll go with the green next. Where are y'all watching from and what's your weather like today? We have rain here. like 10 inch tails in between a five and a half and a six inch loop. hoping I can do this. I am all bandaged up and it's getting harder to stand on my leg. There we go. May end up changing. Oh wow, you lucky. Where are you watching from, Georgie? Tell me it's not 70 some degrees and <laughs> nice and sunny. Yeah, I'm liking that. All right, get our zip tie out. Just loving our gingerbread guy. Or maybe it's supposed to be a girl. I don't know. Alright, let's move some of this out of the way. If anybody needs gingerbread ribbon, I've got a lot of it. Just ask. And I will list it for you. There we go. I just 
had the green here. Where did it go? Well, I just cut it. Oh, jeez. Didn't go that way. There it is. I just can't see. I love the way this blends in. Ooh. <laughs> right? <laughs> I can't wait to see what you do with the snowman I made for you to use. That's what I'm waiting on. Mm. some of this in the back here. There we go. I was so excited because I had a big sale the other day on my Etsy store and then one of the girls in our group had like a $350 order so <laughs> that stunk. <laughs> Yes, yes they do. All right, let's put our bow on here and fluff it out. Oh, wow. This looks so cute. Just ask LaVon, she'll help you. <laughs> LaVon and I are into hippie. <laughs> We're gonna take a tour on an old Volkswagen bus. Right, LaVon? Her, myself, and Maddie. Oh, I want to turn this around. There we go. Good idea. There, you're getting ideas. sure my ribbon is going in the right direction. Keller. We are gone on that bus trip. First, we got to find the Volkswagen bus. I'm thinking. 
but I really want to add a smaller bow here of the gingerbread and possibly up here too. So I just want to do like a three bow. So I think I'm going to do this. First, I'm going to cut off the glued part. Don't like that. So I think this one and I might just throw in some solid red right there. Let's do that with this one. No, let's do that with this one. Yes, I just want a small bow here and a small bow there. And then we'll fill it in with the rest. Okay, I'm gonna do this. And then I'm going to cut a piece of this and bring it back going in the correct direction. I'll put it behind here so you won't even see it. And I think next I'm going to go with the green. I don't think I'm going to use that one. This one. I'm going to ditch the green. I'm going to add this one under there and then add this on top. I think that's where I'm going. I don't know what cut up piece of ribbon you're talking about. Just a little smaller. I may go ahead and change it. <laughs> I like this, but I'm liking this better. So I don't know. I'll figure it out. And then I'll just do the black and white. No. The green. No, this one. Uh, well, I don't want to go with. There we go. Get me a zip tie. There's a Christmas ball. Trying to pull in most of the colors that are in this. I'm going to use a. Oh. I'm just going to use. There it is. I swear. The bird, it bit me. here. Wouldn't that be funny if the lady wanted the, her gingerbread guy back <laughs> on a wreath? I don't think so.
I'll help you, miss. You know that. I could add a gingerbread to each bow since I have so many left over. gingerbread or a candy cane in each bow. Alright, that's what we got so far. And let's put just a small bow up here. It's all about the bow. Yep, you know I can do that for you. I made this sign and these two. I may take this bow apart. I'm actually liking this red better than this. So I think that's what I will do. this we're just gonna cut it and put it in the direction it needs to go da -da. yeah I like it better with the red the solid red Solid red gives it a punch that this isn't. So Gone bow crazy. Aw, oh, thank you, Jennifer. And then let's attack that bow. And 
this, we can just turn it around and get it in the direction I want it. Thank you. We're doing away with this one. This bottom layer is, is blowing me away here. And then we're going to sugar it up. The candy. Come on. Oh, geez. There we go. I wanted the wrong thing. <laughs> That's why it's not coming. We want this. We can move that. We can move that. Luckily, it was the one on the bottom. Okay. Cooperating. Okay, now I'm talking to Ribbon. There we go. Much better. Get it all. Yeah. I think that red adds a pop that the other ribbon wasn't. And we don't need that much. So. Better. I licked it. There we go. Yep. It's, it's ornaments I purchased from Amazon, and I added them to the um, sign. This is one of my signs, new ones. It's actually the gingerbread recipe. All the gingerbread wreaths I've seen, I haven't seen one with the recipe in it, and I thought that would be something different. You know how I, I I like to be original, so and the sacks of flour and sugar I made also, and can make them and put them on the in my Etsy shop, so. Crap. I 
messed up one of the bows. So, ah, oh, geez, just after I got it in there, I missed one of the striped ones. Go <sighs> back and fix. You want it to be right, not wrong. So, I'll go through the middle this way. out why the puppies were crying so much the other night. My husband was seasoning a pan in the oven and it was getting, it smelled of smoke. So Barkley was trying to tell everybody that we had smoke. So that's one smart little guy. If ever there was a fire at his house, you will have everybody alerted. All right. That's why he was so afraid. Okay, I got some fixing to do that. I'm going to worry about that later. So, let's see if use these I know I can't work from sitting down and that's what happened so this has got to be fixed but I will do that later all right let's see we add some of these. I actually have a sign coming out that has these in it and on the border. So it's going to be cute. get a lot in this package too so I'm just kind of dry fitting actually I think we'll do two candy canes and a sugar ball here
kind of put one up higher and one lower. And I can actually just use the wreath base to kind of hold them in place, just wrap it around and um, glue it. I'm going to put the peppermint candies in the middle of the bow. actually come three to a pack. So let's go and use like three. One of each in there. All right, what do you think? It's not glued yet, but and it needs something in here yet. So I could add even some of the brown, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to play with it a little more. And then I'll post it and show you what I did with it. Yeah, that's what it needs, all right. I'm not done with it. I think I still have a few things to put in it. But I... I I definitely think he looks like a little baker man and he's got his sugar and flour and he's got his his uh, cookie sheet and the recipe. So there you go. I see a few bald spots so I'll sit and play with it a little while. Uh, I think we're good. Maybe I'll even put a few tails out here. Some gingerbread tails. Or no. One long loop de loop. I don't know. I'm gonna play with it some more. Yeah, I wouldn't I don't have any. I didn't I kinda like things that look like they're sized properly. And the wooden spoon I had was really too big. I want everything to be in proportion. So, I'll play with it. I have some little wooden men, too, so. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I know. I've been looking for that size, but. Maybe I'll just put some little tails of this in there. I think that kind of brings it back to what I'm trying to attempt with the sign. The sign has kind of like a primitive vibe to it. So that's what I think I'll do. I'll add some ribbon tails. Yeah. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you for watching. All right. I'm going to head out. And uh, I'm hoping to have something... Um, for tomorrow. I've been working on a, a, a gnome wreath 
that the design isn't quite going the way I wanted it to, but I think I got it figured out. So it'll be cute. Oh, and somebody asked me, somebody purchased this sign on Etsy with the Baby It's Cold Outside matching ribbon. And we're asking about what color mesh. You could go with anything on this. You've got blues in here. You even have purple. You have that aqua. You have that that um, leaf green. I mean, there is so much you could do with this. This would look cute in a pine wreath, a pine wreath, or a mesh wreath. So, so many ideas. Thank you. All right, you all have a great evening, and thank you. Bye.